Hello everyone, it's Gromit's Fan01 here, and uh, today in this video I'm going to be showing you some more customs because, of course, I did another I did a video a while back of some other customs that I did, um, but these are my recent customs. So this is uh, a video, another video of that. So, um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, get cracking. Okay, so uh, first up is a painter own morph, and this one was inspired by one of the morph uh, for, still naughty at 40 sculptures that I visited um, back in that back last year when it was morph 40th anniversary there were there were morph uh, models made by Ardman they were designed by Peter Lord and they were designed by Ar an Ardman model maker one of the Ardman model makers there and um, but and one of them was was called Cracking Outfit Gromits, which is of course based on the uh, Wallace in his out Wallace in his outfit. So if you uh, actually go on to one of my videos, the uh, um, uh, uh, my trip to the morph still na naughty at forty excavation, you will find one of the um, models is actually a, a morph in a uh, in a Gromit outfit. No, in a Wallace outfit. Sorry, because of course in his in his famous tank top. So as you can see, he's wearing his tank top, his trousers, his black uh, shoes, and also I've painted the face as well. Um, um, it was going originally going to be orange, but of course I mixed it. I mixed white and brown together to make it look like his his uh, normal colour. So yeah, so that is uh, the painter and morph, and uh, let's go to the next item. Okay, so the next item is a gnome, and uh, this is when I went to my uh, to our, my pots to paint again. So that, but this time it wasn't with a club. So um, I went to pots to paint. I went on on my I went on my own, and uh, and uh, painted uh, this. And of course, it's another one with is with Wallace in his. Um, if as you can see, Wallace in his a uh, well, it's a gnome with Wallace's clothes on. So like his tank top, his his uh, um, his trousers, his black boots, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed painting it. And um, it's at, and of course they had to, they built it in a kiln to make it look shiny. And I picked it. I've just picked. And of course, I've just picked it up today, um, along with the next item that I'm going to be showing next. But I'll show that a bit later. But um, I think this took about maybe uh, probably about an hour or. 45 45 minutes or so to paint this I mean I wasn't counting exactly but um, but the hard work does pay off from this and uh, to pick it up and uh, today and and see it this shiny it's just amazing it really looks like it's been bought from a shop I guess so uh, yeah and uh, it's, this has to be one of my favorite custom items that I've done actually um, yeah it's, it's just beautiful looking and uh, I, I love I love the colors that that's on there and uh, yeah yeah okay so let's uh that's it and we'll go to the next item which is actually a very special one for an advance for some, which is actually a special one for something that's happening next year and so our final item which is uh, a mug but this is a special one you, you might probably thinking why because it doesn't look much but this is is made for um, the 30th anniversary for Wallace and Gromit, which is happening next year. It's going to be 30 years next year of Wallace and Gromit, which is going to be amazing. And um, I really hope to be p making videos for the celebrations of that time. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll do anyway. But um, uh, it's going to be a special year next year because it'll be 30 years since Wallace and Gromit hit our screens, and of course they've they're just so special at Arman they're so, so special to me as well as all of Arman's creations and um, but yeah I wanted to make this just something to just to, just to celebrate it to celebrate the uh, the anniversary the head the head of the anniversary so I painted the um, 
the word in yellow and that was quite tricky because you needed a steady hand and only and you needed steady hands for these pictures of Wallace or of Wallace and Gromit even sorry and then I did like little drops like fireworks in some respects just to just to make sure just to give it more of that of a celebration there was going to be like a red explosion here like a red circle here a red circle here but I did obviously didn't have a, I forgot about painting that so um yeah and uh uh yeah i wanted to make something special for the anniversary just 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 to warm up for the anniversary next year so uh, yeah and that is that special mug so that's it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it and um this is just a little taster well little little video just just, just to show you what i've been up to recently and um because and uh, these are probably some of the best customs i've done I think my skills are improving, well I hope they are anyway, because um, I enjoy showing them off and it's fun. And hopefully I'll be showing, be doing like drawing videos in the future as well where I, where I do uh, uh, sh show off one of my drawings off hopefully and uh, if, if any of you would like that then you can comment on the video below and tell me if you want that showing videos off of my drawings and yeah so um I will hopefully have that plan but if, if I get a lot of comments saying that then yeah I'll hopefully do that in the future so yeah so uh, thank you for watching and uh, this is uh, Gromit's Fano 1 signing out bye